In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this exponential function. So to do this, the very first step is to replace your function with y. So just rename it. So we'll start by letting y be equal to 2 to the 3x minus 1 and then plus 7. The second step is to switch all of your x and y coordinates. So step 2. So your y becomes x and your x becomes y. So we get 2 to the 3y minus 1 plus 7. And the third step is to actually solve for y. So I'm going to, you know, I guess I can squeeze it in down here, so 3. So to solve for y, we'll start by isolating the exponential term here. So we'll start by subtracting 7. So minus 7, minus 7. So these cancel. So we have x minus 7 equals 2 to the 3y minus 1. And now it would be nice if we got rid of that 2. So what we can do is take the log base 2 of both sides. So log base 2 of x minus 7 equals log base 2 of 2 to the 3y minus 1. And what this essentially does is it creates cancellation. This cancels. Whenever you have log base 2 of 2 to the x, you just get x. This is super powerful. Okay, So here this whole thing is our x. So on the right hand side we just get 3y minus 1. Over here on the left we have log base 2 of x minus 7. Alright, almost there. We're looking for y, so we'll now add 1 to both sides. So plus 1 plus 1, these go away. So you have 1 plus the log base 2 of x minus 7, and that's equal to 3y. To finish, we'll just divide everything by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So we have y equals 1 plus the log base 2 of x minus 7, all being divided by 3. And let's go ahead and use um, the correct notation. So the inverse of f, f inverse of x, is equal to this. So I'll break it up. It's 1 over 3 plus, and then it's this over 3. So I'll write it as 1 third log base 2 of x minus 7. And that would be the inverse of our function f. I hope this video has been helpful.